See, what she keeps forgetting is that I'm in my cave and I don't oh, want to hear it. Oh, will you shut? He keeps going on about his bloody cave. Well, if you ask me, it's just an excuse to ignore my mother. Now, you would say that because you're from Venus and your mother's from Venus, so I don't see why I should my have to talk to her. My mother is not from Venus. Of course she's from Venus. That's the point. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. My mother is not from Venus. No, ob I'm obviously not saying she's well, really from... Well, what then? The book says men are from oh, Mars, yes, women... Oh, I forgot the book. He reads like one book a year, yeah, and he's so bloody pleased with himself, the rest of us have to listen to it for the next ten weeks. Oh, that is such a load of Venusian shit. You've got to work on your communication skills, you stupid bitch. Don't you talk to me like that. See? She don't understand. She's from a different planet. She don't understand my ways. There's nothing to understand. You're just selfish. Now, that, is, that is such an ignorant remark. What you've got to be asking yourself is why. Why am I being so selfish? Why is Gary selfish? What have I done wrong? I ain't done nothing wrong except marry you. You see, I'm trying to understand this relationship. In fact, I do. I understand it completely. It's been explained to me to my satisfaction, and now I understand where we've been going wrong, darling. Oh, no, Gary, not now. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive, and she's not, she's not committing to the process. I think I might go back in my cave. Yeah, it must be a bit spermy in your cave. No, don't, Samantha. Don't be dirty. See, I think it's just a cry for help. I think he just wants attention. <laughs> yeah, well, you would say that, but then you are from Venus and uh, you just talk without thinking. No, I don't. See? You didn't think that through. That was just a retort. Gary says something, no, you say it. I say something, you just go, yeah, yeah, back. Whereas I, from Mars, if I've got uh, some thoughts or ideas, I'm, um, you know, when I'm in my cave, I'm working through stuff all the time. So now, right, I'm out of my cave, and now I'm just ready to uh, say the thing, yeah? I, I just say the thing. Got it all mapped out in the head before I even open my mouth. All right, so you want me to have a really good think about what I'm going to say before I say it, do you? Yeah, I do. I'll have a really good think, shall I? Yes, please. Right. I haven't enjoyed sex with you for the last eight months. I have. So I just don't know who thinks he's trying to kid. I'm not trying to kid anyone, all right? I'm just tired of living a lie, you know? The truth is, I'm gay. And obviously that's hard for Samantha, I see that. But there again, I could do with a bit more support from her than I'm getting. He is not gay. I am gay. I'm queer as a nine bob note. No, no, Gary, you're definitely not gay. Yes, I am. All right, if you're so gay, why have you still got that Pirelli calendar with all them birds on it? Well, look, I mean, it's... <laughs> I've only been gay since last Tuesday. I'm not going to go off tits completely, like, all of a sudden. It's a slow process. I have obviously gone off yours. What's wrong with my tits? Nothing's wrong with them, Samantha. I'm just saying that I'm slowly coming to terms with being a homo, and now I'd probably prefer to look at some bloke's cute ass. I'm sorry, Gary, I just don't believe you. Can I have my beads back, please? No, I like them. No. No, you were definitely not queer, cos you never even had sex with a bloke. That is such an ignorant way of looking at it. It's far more complicated than whether... Anyway, I have. You haven't. How do you know? You haven't. Why, who would, then? Chris. Your mate Chris, Chris Bakewell. Yeah, done him up the arse. You have not done Chris Bakewell up the arse. Oh, no, I will say, it wasn't up the arse, but it was it was sex of a sort, and it was very, very gay. It's about as gay as it gets. Me and Chris being gay together, at it. Right, well, I'll give Chris a ring then and ask him, shall I? No, don't ring him, Samantha. He'll just deny it. He's not out like me. He's living a terrible life being married to Jackie. Yeah, so if, if she rings, can you tell her we had sex? Yeah, gay sex. No, no, mate, not out of the arse. I wouldn't do that to you. All right, you say you gobbled me off. All right, I gobbled you off. Yeah, all right, OK, yeah. Listen, I'll, I'll explain it at the pub, all right? Cheers. Who was that, then? It was, uh, it was gay. Gay chat line. Gay? What did you ring them for? They rang me. They wanted a bit of gay chat. What sort of gay chat? Know, just chat about, you know, gaiety, gayness. It's gay stuff you wouldn't understand, not the sort of chat we might have, but, um, gayer, more gay. All right, Gary, so if you're so gay, what are we going to do with your little copies of Mayfair, then? <sighs> do what you like, you can have them. Oh, I don't want them. Maybe I should burn them. No, don't burn them, just probably leave them where they are. That's probably the best solution. Uh, I first became interested in naturism yesterday, and since then it's been more or less a way of life. It's been difficult, so... Samantha is perhaps a bit uptight, but um, I'm not saying she's frigid or anything, but it is a struggle to be accepted. I mean, it's all very well him coming in one night and saying, yeah, I'm a naturist, yeah, but I don't get no say in the matter. I mean, I not, might not want him all out. 
And as for the kids, well, I think the kids are fairly traumatised. Well, that's, that's my choice, isn't it? I'm a naturist, and if you no, don't you like are it, not a naturist. If you was a naturist, you would not be sitting there in a pair of four-day-old pants. I mean, that's, well, I don't know what that is. That's a pantherist or whatever. <laughs> There's no such thing as a pantherist. You just made that up. Yeah, well, maybe. But what I'm saying is, there are some people who like going around starkers for the freedom, whatever it is. And then there's most people going around dressed, like me and the kids and the Queen and everybody else. And then there's you <coughs> going around just your pants. I mean, that's not a movement. That's just you. I'll be very surprised if it catches on. Caught cool on with me. All right, so what you're saying is that if I'm going to be a proper naturist, I've got to take off my pants and parade around for your titillation. Gary's hardly going to titillate me. I've seen it all before, many times. I've seen it when it was worth looking at. Oh, cheers. Thanks a lot. I'm feeling a bit self-conscious now. It's not my fault, is it? I might feel a bit better if you took all your clothes off. Then it would be fair. No, Gary, it would not be fair, cos you still haven't taken all yours off. Oh, so what you're saying is that a, a proper naturist can't wear anything ever? Well... So if you've got a naturist DJ, you can't wear headphones? Oh, no. And if you've got a, a short-sighted naturist, he's just got a squint, because apparently uh, wearing glasses would be letting aside there. Right, what's your reason for wearing pants? Hygiene. Well, there's no answer to that, is there? I mean, a lot of very respectable people do it. But like who? Well, I don't admit it, but there's a rumour that um, Jenny Bond, that news lady, she likes it in the nuddy. I'm not saying it's true, I'm just saying I've heard it said. But I don't believe you, she's too well-spoken for that sort of thing. Well, they're the worst, this non-stop tits and volleyball. What do you mean, tits and volleyball? I mean what I say, tits and volleyball, two things together. You know, paint the picture. Yeah, so who told you this then? <sighs> Chris. Your mate Chris, what, Chris Simmons or Chris Bakewell? Chris Bakewell, he knows Jenny Bond very well. Quite well, he's met her at a naturist bash. He is one, Chris is a naturist, he got me into it. So if I give Chris a ring then, he'll confirm he's either in the nuddy or just in his pants or whatever? Yeah. So I'll give him a ring but then, he won't be I? in, will it? Look out the window, Samantha, it's a beautiful day, I'll be making the most of it. Oh, that is a disgusting thought. <laughs> Uh, I've got a bit of an announcement, actually. I'm quite glad we got the cameras here, because over the last few weeks, I've become convinced... Well, in fact, I know that someone is definitely trying to kill me. Oh, here we go. He does this. If, well, last time we was on holiday, and he starts going on about how this German is stalking him. He was stalking me. I looked into his eyes, and I saw murder. Some people have it in them to kill a man, and I was that man. Well, he was that man, but I was the man he had it in him to kill. He did not have it in him. He did have it in him. He did not have it in him. He was a German on holiday. You accused him of stealing your beach towel, so he punched you in the face. He was a murderer. And then you were just frightened of him, so you go on about how he's trying to... He was a murderer. He was not a murderer. Anyway, never mind him, because I don't think it's him this time. Oh, really? Who was it this time, then? Well, I don't like to point the finger, but I... Well, I'm... In fact, I know it's Chris. Chris? What, Chris Bakewell, your mate? My mate once. He's trying to kill me now. I've gone off him. You all right, darling? All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Who was that? It was Chris. Did he say he's trying to kill me? Yeah, he did, actually. See? Told you he's trying to kill me. He's not trying very hard. I mean, what's he done about it, exactly? What attempt has he made on your life? Well, he came at me with a, with a flag. With a what? A flag. Yeah, he came at me with a flag, trying to smother me, but it was sloppy. I managed to get away. Yeah. He hadn't thought it through. But he'll be back. And he won't make the same mistake again. This time he'll have a plan. A flag? Yeah. Why a flag? It was the first thing that came to hand, I suppose. He probably... I, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Look, he's a psycho, not me. Well, what country's flag was it? England, Britain. What, Union Jack or St George's Cross? No, I don't know. What is it? Look, never mind a flag. I wish I'd never mentioned a fucking flag. The point is he's trying to kill me. I just don't see why I come at you with a flag, that's all. <sighs> All right, it wasn't a flag, it was a knife. He come at me with a knife. Why did you say it was a flag, then? I don't know, I was trying to protect you, I suppose. Well, I'd better call the police, then. I mean, if he's come at you with a knife, he's obviously off his rocker. He is, he's trying to kill me. I'll ring the police, then. No, don't ring the police. I don't think it's a police matter. What do you mean? He's just told me he's coming in with a knife, and then he says he's not a police matter. It's not. It's personal. It's a man thing you wouldn't understand. You didn't tell Chris to tell me that he was trying to kill you, did you? No, of course not. That'll be Chris coming to kill me. I hope he's brought his flag. Uh, well, I am a Muslim now, and she's just got to learn to accept it. You see, this is what it's like. 
He comes home Friday night saying he's a Muslim or whatever, and I don't get no say in the matter, I've just got to lump it. I mean, it's Christmas in two weeks, he's not interested, he's taking a fucking tree down. Well, that's up to you, isn't it? If you want to carry on... It's not on up to me. It is up to you. It is not up to me, it says up to me, it's not. It is up to her. I never said she had to be a Muslim, but it is my faith. And being married to an infidel obviously don't do me any favours in the eyes of Allah. You but see, she doesn't seem to care, you know? It keeps giving me all this guilt about how he's going to go to hell, whatever they call it. I mean, what am I supposed to tell the kids? Tell them Daddy's a Muslim. The trouble with him is, he's making it all up as he goes along. No, I ain't. All right, where in the Quran does it say you can go out and get pissed on lager every night? You show me. Well, he can't show me, can he? He hasn't got it. He's never even read it. She reckons I'm not supposed to drink. Which is, it's the first I've heard of it and I've looked into it. You have not looked into it? Of course I've looked into it. I mean, I'd hardly become a Muslim without looking into it. I'd be a twat. You are a twat, Gary. You don't think I'm a twat? I do. I think you're a twat and the kids think you're a twat. News to me. Did I just want to... Silence, woman. See, this is how he talks now. That's how Muslims do talk. If you don't like how it... How do then you then... know? You're supposed to be obedient and you're supposed to dress like a kind of undercover nun. Yeah, well, I'm not. Not for anyone. You see, she won't. She's fucking disobedient. And because of her, I'm going... Well, she's definitely going to hell. I'm probably going to have to go with her. Yeah, well, I'll take my chances. You see? She don't care about me or about the kids. It's the kids I feel sorry for. Yeah, they feel sorry for you and all.